All right. This is uh, my homemade grow room. Um, took me a couple of hours to knock it up. It's literally just uh, just a two inch roofing button, basically. Quick frame all around the ceiling and just screwed these to it, these uprights to it. And just a basic door on here. Inside, you can see we're um, about six foot wide by four and a half feet deep. Um, got an extractor fan in the corner. Um, yet to rig up lights, but I think I'm going to go for two 600 watt lights. Um, hopefully, get between six to uh, and 12 plants on the go in here. I've started putting in um, these wooden notches, make a framework up on the floor. Um, so I'm putting in insulation in the floor. Um, trying to get some more light in. So I'm some insulation in the floor here. Um, and then I'll put board over the top of this so that, you know, the plants aren't in direct contact with the cold concrete below. Um, that's pretty much it for now. So we get on home. We're still letting quite a lot of light in through this, through this front wall here. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to do something about that, probably some board at the front, board over a bit. But uh, basically for, for, for the for the walls themselves, I used literally some white dust sheets from here, got them from a local builder's yard. Um, and then on top, it's 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 kind of that color. It's, it's, it's not quite white, but it's not quite clear. It, you know, it's kind of got that whiteness to it. But, you know, I figure this is my first go at it, you know? I don't want to go spending hundreds of pounds on, on, on a fancy setup. But, you know, we're just going to see where we get on. So, you know, I just went for a cheap setup. So the dust sheets with the, with the plastic on top of it, I figure that's going to be pretty reflective. Um, you know, you know, seem to be getting a bit of reflection from a camera light. So, I mean, hopefully this will work pretty damn well. So we'll see how we get on. So, yeah. Like I say, peace out for this video. Right, started putting the floor in. You can see there's uh, rock wall insulation. Like I said, I was going to put in. You can see how I've done the floor framework. Um, just a piece of thin ply. I just screwed down, nailed down in places. Um, just rig the temporary light up for now. It's not my grow light, but we'll get in there. All right, got some. Reflective stripping. It's like a radiator reflect heat reflective strip. Strip comes on a roll. Uh, seven quid from uh, B and Q. Uh, and I think it's going to work pretty well. It's about about two foot wide. Strip about two foot wide. I've just done it all the way around. Um, I may add another strip shortly, depending on if I need it. Um, as for now, I'm going to just take, test test how well the room works. Hey, I think last video was um, after I finished with the reflective. Um, I've now got a little table in there. Uh, I can put my my new growth on there. The string that's hanging for the, the light fitting this now being wired together by my trusty assistant. Genius. He actually is. Without him, I would be seriously lost uh, on this, this this part of the build. To be fair, could, could, oh, could have all gone really seriously wrong if I'd have tried it myself. And just look at that. That's so neat. That's so neat. The big box there is to power this little thing just there, which is one of these small fluorescents. Um, I think they're like 40 watt. Are they? Something. 11 watt babbling on the video um yeah and then as you can see what we've done here so far we've got uh four sockets for the standard cfl bulbs that we've got um i've got these ones at the minute <coughs> they're actually the wrong ones but, um i got them whilst i was in b and q not sure how much they were they were about nine quid a box i think but you get four four of the spirals in there they're 1230 lumens um 90 watt brightness you know, the 20 watt bulbs are equivalent to 90 watts, so they're quite good. Right, 
I just rigged up the light in the side of the room with a bit of help from two assistants. Let's uh, try it out for the first time in the room. See how bright this baby is. Here we go. Oh, Whoa! Nice. Whoa! I mean, that they're, they're, they're only my red spectrum with a couple of blues in there. I mean, that's kicking up. <sighs> okay, seeds have finally arrived. Um, took about two weeks to get here, but after a little bit of waiting, there they are. I'm gonna tear this open and uh, let's have a look inside. Okay, let's rip this bad boy open and see what good is we've got in here. Stanley blade to hand. And in here we have a ten pack of mixed feminized auto flower seeds from butter butter seeds i mean in that one packet i'm not sure if it's gonna my camera is so crap it's unreal basically just here it, it lists that we have a white dwarf seed a red dwarf seed demius and a syrup seed as well as four uh no sorry six six other seeds of um unknown or they call them unknown strains or unknown uh, varieties. Reason being is they're basically seeds that weren't mass produced enough for them to then put put them into production, put them on the shelf basically as as a name. They couldn't name them for that reason. Um, just here, I've got a pack of greenhouse seeds company. Um, Exodus cheese again, feminized. That's a, that's a five pack. It should have been a ten pack. So I'll be on the phone very shortly to the mail order company that these were ordered from, and I'll have a little moan about that. And last one's up. Some good old Barney's Farm, and their Pineapple Express again, auto flowering, and again, they're only a five pack. As you can see there, should have been a 10 pack. One thing that concerns me with the butter seeds, the mixed ones, is I haven't got a clue which ones are what. There is literally just a, a pack of 10 seeds there. In a little vial. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see how we go. Anyway, there it is.